Hey, this is Dan from SimpleFastSites.com and in this tutorial I'd like to show you guys how to make your own pro handyman website. Filled with all the pages that you need, ways to contact you, and reasons to hire you. And there it is. It looks wonderful. Also, super easy to build. Anybody can do this and it doesn't cost a lot of money. So, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to simplefastsites.com slash go slash bluehost and that'll take you to this page right here where you'll be able to get your own website for only $2.95 per month and you get a free domain name for the first year. So what we want to do now is click start building. Let's wait for that to load and once it's loaded all we need for our simple handyman website is to click this one right here. It's perfect for blogs and personal websites. So select this and that'll take you to a page where you'll be able to choose your domain name. Um, my domain name that I want to choose, let's see, let's go prohandymanwebsite.com. Click next and that'll check if it's available or not. If it's available, it's going to say yes, it's available. Now you could create your account. What you want to do, fill out this form right here. Uh, basic 12 month is totally fine. Domain privacy and protection is not really needed because not many people are going to see your website. Yes, turn it off. Code card, code guard basic could also turn this off. And site security, site lock security essentials. That can also be turned off. So the total is $35.40 for a full year, and you get a free domain name. That's a deal that's pretty hard to beat. Now, fill out the payment information, click Agree, and Submit. So once you have filled out that form, it'll take you to a, to a page where you could create your account, create your password, then it'll take you to this page where you could log in. So let's just... Login, prohandymanwebsite.com. All right, so now what we can do is create your website. Click on that. Um, let's just do no, hope need, no help needed because I'll be helping you guys out. The site we're creating is for a business. Creating websites, very comfortable. So let's continue. All right, so now that we're here, it's going to try to generate a site for us. What we want to do is enter our keyword here, and it's going to make a site that is similar or about our keyword. In this case, what we want to do is just type in handyman. Handyman. All right, that's the site it makes for us. Cool. Then just click continue. The name of your site is going to be just the name of your business. Um, let's see. For us, it's going to be Pro Handyman Websites. There it is. And it's going to update all the titles and everything for your website. Then click Continue. For the cover image, this is going to be the main image here. Don't worry about the image right now. We will change this all later. In our case, I actually do kind of like this one. This image is very interesting, so we'll just click continue. I'll show you later how how and where to upload your logo, so don't even worry about this. Click continue. Also the font, don't really worry about that. We'll be able to change this all later. For now, what I do is I want to find maybe there is a font pairing that looks pretty good, and then I'll just keep it. I actually kind of like this one, so I'll just keep this for now, and then we can change, change it later if we want to. So let's click continue. Then you can choose the colors. The colors are generated for me right now. It's actually pretty, pretty decent. So I'm going to keep it just like this and not change it for now. But this obviously can all be changed later. I'll show you how to do that. Then click continue. This is where you can pick the navigation style. Just choose the different ones and you'll be able to choose the style that you want. I actually like this one right here, so this one I'm going to choose, then click continue. Now, this is your 
the contact info for your business. So I'm just going to put some dummy text in here so that I can show you how it's going to look. All right, so once you're done finish, once you're done filling that all out, just click finish and it'll start creating your website. So once it is done generating the site, it's going to take you to this page right here. This is the actual Bluehost website builder. So let's see how this works. You have the home page right here. That is the page that you are editing. The header, which is Pro Handyman website, you have the menu, which on the actual website, when you click this, the menu will open up. This icon right here, you can actually click on it and it's going to zoom out and show you the other pages you have on the website. I want to actually just edit home page for now. Then if you click on a certain section, this right sidebar will update with all the options that you are able to edit. On the side right or in the corner right here, you can move down the section or move it up. Click for this one to duplicate it and this trash can to remove it. Then if you want to edit any of the text, all you have to do is just click and click here and start typing away. There it is. I'm just going to leave it as is for now. Then to edit all the buttons, same thing, click on it. You could change the color of it. You can change the style if it's filled or outlined, change the size of the text and add a link right here if you want to. Now to edit, to add or remove items from the actual section, what we got to do is go to this sidebar right here. You could click here, remove the title, remove the subtitle, remove description, remove the buttons, just leave the image. What I want to do is just leave the title, description and buttons because subtitle is not very necessary for us right now. Then you also have some layout settings based on the layout that you choose. This is going to change. So some of them are going to have the section size. Some of them are going to have the alignments if it's left or center aligned full page or not. If you click, if you turn this off, it's actually going to change the section to a certain height that you can specify here. But I do want a full page section for the main for the main section right here. If you want to change the layouts of this section, you either click right here, this button right here, or any of these. It shows that you have seven different layouts that you can choose from. Let's just click next. And then you can choose some layout that you really like. Just click and there it is. All right. See, we have some extra elements that we can hide or show in this section like that. I'll keep the line in there for now. And then content alignment is center. All right. Now, there are a couple a couple things that we can do to change the global settings of the website. They are on the left hand side bar right here. Um, first thing we want to do is check out the appearance. If you click on that, you can go and change the colors of the website. This is where you can change and control all the colors. When we are generating the site, you can you can only change these first two. So if you want already pre-made color color themes, you can click Explore Color Themes and it'll generate them here. If you want to load more, you could load more. I do actually like this color color scheme it generated for us, so I'm going to keep it. Then let's go to fonts. This is where you can change the size of the fonts and the different font families that you want. So I'm going to change this to a large make make the font stand out just a little bit more if you want they have pre-made um, font font pairings but if you want your own custom ones you can just click custom right here and change it I like the way it is right now so I'm just going to leave it also for animations if you do want animations you can enable them here but I'm going to leave it as is then next thing what we want to do is go into settings and here is where you could actually edit the website information. So what we want to do is go and settings, my site, name, you can change the name of your website. If you click on logo, you can change the logo. If you click on favicon, you can upload a favicon 
and that will actually change this icon right here. For SEO, this is just going to be uh, the social share icon or social share image. And then you could hide from search engines or not. I would recommend keeping this as is so that you would actually be found. For accessibility, our language, um, I'm in the United States, so I'm just going to type in English. English, if I could spell. There it is. Then, if you want to change your business information, click on My Business. You can change the address, contact, and the business hours. So open, closed, there you go. The next menu right here is to change the social accounts. All you have to do is just type in the URL of the social accounts and click Apply, and they'll be saved. If you want tracking and analytics, you do have the Google tracking, Google Analytic Tracking ID that you could input here. If you don't have one, all you gotta do is just click this link right here. It'll take you to the Google Analytics account. You just gotta create one, and then it will give you the tracking ID which you can paste right here. Then click Apply, and it'll save. Then, the menus and pages right here, this is where you can start changing the menu around, creating new pages, and changing the settings on specific pages. So if we click settings, if we click settings, there it is, the pop-up will appear, and you can change the properties. Then you can click on SEO and change the page title. Page title is what's going to appear right up here, and description is going to be the description that has appeared in Google search. After you're done, just click apply, and that'll be applied to every single page. Then if you want to change the menu order, all you have to do is just click and drag, and then you can change the menu order. What we're going to do is, I'm going to keep this as is, but change this from read more to contact, and then add a link click on page and then select the contact page and do not open a new tab because we want to be on the same website. Click save and that'll update the button so that whenever you click on it, it's going to go to the contact page. And then what we want to do is go to the next section. What I want to do is remove this section and then click on this plus right here, add section and then Scroll all the way down to USPS and drag in this USPS right here. Drag it in right there. Oops, I misplaced that. Let's just move it up so it's right up here. And then this is where we can show our guarantees and stuff like that. I do not want, if we scroll down, I do not want the subtitle here. Add a subtitle to this section right here. Then I'm going to change the text here. All right, so something like that. What I do want to do is make this section a section that we can describe why somebody would want to hire us. So for example, for this one is going to be like guaranteed service. Uh, this one is going to be insured and bonded, something like that. And over here is always on time or we let you know beforehand. Something like that. So I'm just going to change that right now. So now that that is all updated, there is a couple more things you can do. If you want, you can make this into a four uh, column section. You just click add item and it will create four. I do like the three, so I'm just going to leave it as a three column layout. You do have some other options to make it um, bigger section, smaller section, and then you can change the layout here. I am just going Actually, you know what? I'm going to choose uh, 
this fifth one right here. We have a line right here, and then this one actually has lines in between. Makes it look pretty nice. Also, if you want to, you can change the background. So if you click on background right here, you can change the color of the background so that it would stand out. Then you could apply a pattern if you want. Since this section is pretty text heavy, you do not want to add a pattern because it's going to make it very hard to read. So I'm just going to remove the pattern. And I actually kind of like this darker blue right here, whatever that color is. Now, what I want to do is actually make it into a services section. So I actually want to remove this, add another section. And what I'm going to do is just do immediate text. So let's do this one right here. Looks pretty nice. Instead of this image, I'm just going to change this. So you can select the image to change it. I do recommend that you upload your own images, but since for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use stock photos. So click right there and you can choose stock photos. Uh, let's actually choose this one right here. Looks pretty nice. There it is. Instead of welcome to our website, I'm just going to type in our services. And then over here, Right, so let's remove the subtitle so we have just the description. And then what I'm going to do is just type in bullet points one, plumbing. So something like that. Our services create a little section like this. Looks pretty nice. Instead of read more, I do want to change this button to say see services and then create a service page that will list all these services that we provide or majority of them. Then what I want to do is instead of having the subscribe section here, we can remove that, add another section and the section that we're going to choose is a contact form. So scroll down and find. Let's just choose this one right here. Yes, this one right here looks pretty decent. Now, one thing to consider is the layouts of your images. So let's scroll up. You have one solid image in the background. OK, no images here. Totally fine. This one is left aligned and this image is also left aligned. In order to make this site a little more interesting, what are we going to do is actually change this to a right aligned. So it's just going to be alternating between pictures and text, picture, text, or text picture. Then I'm going to change this. Interesting, use this image. I like how that looks. Also, if you want to change the um, positioning of the image, what you can do is click Crop Image, then zoom in, and you can focus on a certain part of the image. But I want actually the whole image, so I'm going to leave it as is. Also, add a link. You can add a link there. And then for the settings, you can change the image so that's there it is. I want fit. You can change the image and how it looks. You can add all these borders, round at the corners, add a shadow. I want to leave it as is because I like it this way. Then for the alt text, you can actually change this alt text to uh, describe what the image is about and add your keywords and stuff like that. But in our case, I'm just going to leave it. Then contact me, leave it as is. To change the form, all you have to do is click on settings right here. It's going to open up a pop-up form. What I want to do is remove the last name, keep actually remove the email subject, keep the message, keep the email, and add a phone. Instead of first name, let's just type in full name. That looks pretty decent. Then for the form address, you can type in the email that you want the form 
to uh, or the submission from the form to go to right here by default it is using the email that we um, entered for our business as a business contact email then success message this is when they actually submit the form it's going to change it to the success message I hope to respond within 24 hours I'd recommend changing that to like let's say 15 minutes then for the permissive permission message um, this is the the at the very end of the form this is the thing that they have to select before they could submit it so this is where you could grant permission to email you so let's click Save and there it is full name email phone message and then they have to check this and send the message so there it is that is our home page what we can do to make it a little bit more interesting is instead of leaving this as a white background change it to a darker background so it's darker light darker background and then footer I would recommend to also alternate so I'm going to leave it as white for now. That is totally fine in this case. Um, to edit the footer, all you need to do, click on it, and then it just gives you all the things that you could add or remove. I'm going to add the copyright message, add the email, phone number. There it is. What you can do is change the layouts if you wish. Let's see. Which one do I like? actually like this one just like it was I'll leave it like that but if you do want to change it you can change it also same thing here we can change the color we can change if there's a pattern you can add a video there image into the background personally I recommend just keeping it as a color and not making it too busy so there it is that is our home page so now let's start editing the home page actually the about page so all you have to do is click this minus right here and then click on the about page now i'm going to keep this as simple as possible let's change this image to handyman let's just use this one doesn't look too bad but there it is so instead of welcome to our website we're just going to change this to the about text so a little bit about us all right so just change that a little bit uh, change the description a little bit just talking about us and then for the read more what I'm going to do is actually change this to a contact add the link to the contact page there it is remove the new tab save for this gallery I'm actually going to keep this gallery as is but there is a couple of things that I want to change I want to remove the subtitle center align it and then let's just say our recent projects something like that and then for the images I'm just going to change it to That looks pretty decent if you want to add more columns you can change it right there add more items I do like the three column layout but you could add some more items if you'd like just by clicking this and you can add it the more you add the more there you go you'll see it's going to make the layout just like that all right and then right here I'm just going to delete this and also delete this guy oh, there it is add a section and then contact form just like the other one 
Well, didn't place that correctly. Let's just move down. Move down. There it is. We can change this image to something else. Let's just use this one right here. Just like the other page, click on the settings, remove last name, this guy, this guy, full name. Everything is the same except for success message is going to be 15 minutes. All right. And then we can click save. And there it is. We just made our own about page. Next, let us change this contact page right here don't really like this style of the contact form. Let's just go back and keep everything the same. Um, write something in this area. I'm going to remove that right here. Remove last name, email subject, and the phone number. Type in full name, form address, success message. We're going to be 15 minutes right here. There it is. Click the save button. And there it is, we have that. Also, you have the business hours. What I want to do is just change this to a yellow background so that there is more variation in the website. All right, so there it is. You have created your first three pages on the website. Let's say you want to add another page. For example, we wanted to add the services page. All we have to do, menu pages, click that. Click add new page. And this will give us actually and then this will give us um, options. So what kind of page do you want? Blank page. You could also have an external link. Um, and then when you hover over these, it'll give you um, the different page layouts that they automatically generate for you. I'm going to leave this blank so that I can show you how to create your own web page without anything. So let's click add page. The page name is going to be services. Click add. There it is. Now, first thing what we want to do is add a section. Let's see. I want to do the call to action. Let's do the call to action and um, let's see. Right, so this one right here. Welcome to our website is going to be our services. I'm going to remove the title. Actually, I'm going to remove the subtitle and the buttons. And right here, I'm just going to type in um, Something like that. Alrighty. So you can change the image, um, the different images, add a link to it. I'm going to leave it as is. Alright, so let's add another section. What I'm going to do is scroll down to media slash list. And then we can add this one right here. There it is. So welcome to our website. We're just going to center align it. Instead of welcome to our website, we're just going to be our something like that. We can also remove the description. Wait a minute, description up here. And then right here, what we can do is add all the different uh, services that we provide. So let me just do that right now. All right, so there we go. I don't really like how this is centered and this is right aligned. What I'm going to do is instead of that, let's just change it to left. There you go. And then instead of landscape, I want to change this to portrait so that it fills the section. The image fills the section up a little bit more. And there it is. 
our services include plumbing, electrical, mountain services, and then you can add more items that you want. And then add more items inside of here that you want. And there you go. And that's how you make your own page just like that. I will just for good measure add another section which is going to be the contact form. That was too far. There you go. Same one right, right here. Let's click change the image, search for stock photos. Let's see. I do like I have a lot of good pictures here, but I'm just going to use this one right here just because it's a portrait. It's going to fill this 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 layout a little better. Contact me, change this. Just like the other ones, we're going to do full name. Full name, form address, success message is going to be 15 minutes. There it is. And then click save. There you go. And then you have your own contact form on this page as well. Now I will, what I'm going to do is actually change the background to a yellow, I believe. Yes, I think that fills it up pretty good. And then this background also to a yellow. So yellow, this one, this one. Looks pretty nice. Also what you can do, like I said, you can do the divider. But another cool thing what you can do is actually add a, I mean, what you can add a pattern. The other th cool thing is you can add a divider. How this works is, let's see, you have this guy right here. You can create cool little section um, transitions from different from section to section. And right here, let's see. I'm just going to do this one right here. Height, I'm going to remove down a little bit. You can change the orientation of it. And then content offset is just like that. So if you were, if you wanted to, you can add this or make this all the way up here and then offset so that the form would overlap the, the divider. Makes it kind of interesting. I'm just going to keep this like this, make this small, and then change this to this guy right here, basically pointing down to contact me. Background actually looks pretty cool. I'll leave it like that. So there it is. Then. Once you feel like you're done with the websites, all you got to do, click publish. That is going to save your site and then it will show you a link where you can actually preview the sites and will show the link where you can preview the sites and then show it off to all your friends and family. There you go. We have the pro handyman websites looking for a handyman. We have all this. Now there is one thing I don't really like this section this top section anymore because it's a little bit too big for our preferences so what we're going to do is just go back here click X click X again click on the header and change this so that we have let's see call call this one looks nice this one looks nice too we'll just change it to this one right here and then this call button which is going to do phone number enter the phone number which is 999 which obviously you want to change this to your own phone number so that whenever anybody clicks this it will direct them to call you then let's click publish it's going to save the site one more time alrighty we can reload the website and there we go that looks a lot better it takes up a little bit less space and looks pretty nice and that's how you make your own pro handyman websites now if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and i'll answer them to the best of my ability anyway guys you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys later